Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. <laughs> Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch The Last of Us season 1. You wait. Episode 7. <laughs> That's it, I can take it back. I'm glad to be there to watch another episode of The Last of Us, for sure. But you know, with what happened at the end of the last episode, I'm really like... Is it gonna be, you know, a cool episode? Am I really excited about it? Like, I'm excited to discover more about this universe, about this story that you guys, you already know because you played to the game. Me. It's not the case, I don't know anything about what is gonna happen. I'm really avoiding, you know, the trailers, the teasers, the promotional pictures. And really, I'm not making any researches about this show just because I'm afraid of reading a spoiler about what is gonna happen or not. So I don't know if Joel is gonna die during this season or not. But really, at the end of the last episode, I was into a fucking denial, I was really like, no, it can't be, he's not gonna die, like, come on, this is one of the main characters, if not the main character, I mean, we have two main characters with Ellie and him, like, really, he can't die, and not like that, for sure, just like that, you know, a random guy hurting him, but at the same time, he's really hurt, <laughs> and they're all by themselves, and they went away, you know, from the magic place. Like, for me, they should have stayed near to the university to, to have access to all of these magic things which were just right there. And no, and they didn't take any of these things with them and they left and it's really hurt and, you know, with the snow, with how cold it is, with the fact that they don't have anything to, to help him. I'm really like, okay, he didn't die during the last episode, but maybe he's gonna die during this one. Like, I don't think that Joel, I, I was gonna say, and Ellie, no, no, Joel, I don't think that he's immortal. Maybe at some point he's gonna die during this season, during the next one, I don't know. But yes, he's not immortal. Ellie, with the fact that her blood is gonna resolve everything, you know, he's gonna be really what we need for that vaccine, the medicine that we need <laughs> against the infected and all. Because of that, I'm like, okay, maybe Ellie, she can't die, you know, she's gonna survive to everything. But Joel, the more we are progressing into this story, the more their relationship is progressing. And also now that he resolved the situation with his brother, you know, his quest, it was to find his brother. So right there, he doesn't have any other quest than protecting Ellie, taking Ellie to the Fireflies. So in a way, he's almost like a mentor, you know, for Ellie, the first person to help her to discover this new world, this universe. We know that Ellie, she was really just into her military school. She didn't know what was happening outside and really the rules of this universe, meaning how you have to act with people, with new people that you meet and stuff like that. So the more we are progressing, the more I think that is really like a mentor for her, meaning that at some point he's gonna die because we know how it's happening into that kind of story. The mentor has to die at some point, so the real hero is gonna have the chance, you know, to prove himself or herself. He's gonna have all of the place, all of the responsibility, all of the things on his or her shoulders. And because of what the mentor taught them, they're gonna manage to succeed and stuff like that. But at some point, the mentor has to die. So that's why I don't think that Joel is immortal. For me, he didn't die at the end of the last episode, for sure. He might die during this episode, and that's why I'm a little afraid of discovering it. Yep. But I have still some hope that maybe, Ellie, during this episode, you're gonna meet new people, 
we're gonna help us <laughs> I'm in them you <laughs> see when I'm beginning to say us it means that I'm involving myself with the characters so really for me the solution right there can only come from people that we don't know yet you know that we're gonna meet during this episode uh, I'm a little afraid of that because it means that it can be bad people it can be people we, who are gonna be great but who are gonna die at the end of this episode like that's it I know how it is with the last of us and uh, non-player characters I know the drill we still have three episodes to finish this season one and we still need to discover stuff about the main characters I'm saying it since a long time we need to discover that mystery around Ellie what happened into the mall I'm pretty sure that she was not just by herself for me she was with someone that she loved and I'm saying loved because for me that person died right there because she or he was also beaten and I'm saying he or she because I have a doubt about it because at some point Tess she asked to Ellie did you have a boyfriend and she answered you know in a weird way which is making me think that maybe she had a boyfriend or maybe it was not a boyfriend it was more a girlfriend like there is something right there and for me it means that that person that Ellie loved was with her into the mall for sure she was not just by herself into the mall again the few times that she talked about it it was a little weird so for me it means that something happened right there and she talked also about one of her friends who knew how to play you know to the games and also maybe it can be that friend that friend so we still have that to discover about Ellie for sure we still have a lot of things to discover about her about her parents you know about why she's different did they make experiences on her when she was a kid or is it because of her mom like experiences on her mom I, I don't know but for sure we still need to discover that but I don't think that we're gonna discover it right there for sure and during this season I'm not even sure I can imagine that that thing maybe it's more gonna be for a season 2 or something like that and about Joel, you know, we had a moment with his brother already. Maybe something about his daughter or just something also about the fact that he was a soldier before. Like, I'm not sure that we have still mysteries really around him. His quest is already resolved, you know, with his brother. So that's why I think that he might die during this season. Maybe even during this episode. <laughs> Really, at the end of the last episode, I was in total denial. I was like, no, he's not gonna die, for sure. End of the review of the last episode, I was like, hmm, maybe in fact he's gonna die, but not just right there, not just like that, not just because a random guy hurt him. Intro of this new episode, I'm really like, ah, maybe it's gonna be enough, in fact, to kill him. <laughs> but all of that, you know, all of this intro to tell you that I'm excited to discover this new episode for sure, but I'm also <laughs> not so excited to discover it because I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna cry dream it because of new characters that we're gonna meet and who are gonna die because of Joel who might die because of stuff that we're gonna discover about our characters around these mysteries and maybe it's gonna make me cry <sighs> no matter what I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna cry during this episode. Also because this is a long episode. We know with The Last of Us that we have short episodes, long episodes, short episodes, long episodes. This is one of the long episodes. So normally it's one of the crying ones, you know. I prepared a tissue just in case. We'll see if I'm gonna need it or not. If we are making bets really, I would say that I would cry. Like I wouldn't bet on me. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop this intro right now. Let's go for this new episode. Remember that if you want to have my Patreon, if you want this episode in advance, one day sooner without the logo, you know, on the video, I'm forced to put it like that because of YouTube, not because I want it. And also with an extended direction part, you know it, you know, it's long episodes. So extended direction parts are really longer between 10 and 20 minutes longer I think since the beginning of this season so it's really longer if you can be interested by that if you can be interested to support me you know to come on my patreon if you can also it could be appreciated <laughs>
let's go for this episode. I'm gonna cry. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna cry during this episode. It's almost uh, annoying in advance for me to know that it's gonna be an emotional episode. Someone is gonna die, Joel, or new characters. You know, at this point, I'm really taking things like that with The Last of Us. You think that you're gonna surprise me because you're gonna kill someone? I already know it. I'm sorry if the lights are changing, you know, during the video. It's not my fault, clearly. I have to, to deal with the weather outside. Is conscient? Shut up! Yes, really shut up! No. You chose to help her, she's gonna choose to help you also. Come on. She's gonna come back, okay? For now, she's obeying to you because you told her to obey. She's gonna come back. No? <laughs> it's a memory episode about you? Cool. Prediction. It's a memory episode about what happened into the mall. I said it, my theory, someone that she loved was with her into the mall and died. She abandoned that person like that. So she's gonna come back for Joel because she's not gonna abandon him. Okay, girl. Bethany started it. Bethany's in the infirmary with 15 stitches. Good. Okay. Good job, girl. First path. They keep acting like a grunt so you get the life of the girl. Up at dawn, walk the streets, walk the walk. You take shit orders from your patrol leader, who will probably be Bethany. And that'll be your life from now until you catch a bullet from a firefly. There's the other path. Just follow this path. You're leading a team. Yeah. That's really how you're selling that path to have power on people. For a bit? Can you do that? You know, just to take some holidays. I joined the Firefly. Oh, fuck you! I'm not in the mood for this, Riley. I'm really not in the mood. Talk should I fucking do it? Talking about liberating the HUC is not the same as. Fuck, where did you say? Slow down, slow down. I will tell you everything. You knew Marlene? You gave us Marlene? No. You didn't come with me for a few hours and have the best night of your life. Hmm. Okay, now say yes. I'm not going anywhere with you. They're thinking about hanging in the park and can't go there anymore. It's a new patrol, but they just better. Well, we're not going to the park. You're going to the mall? Trust me. You trust me, right? I don't know. Should I trust you? Of course you should. With your She's gonna die! <laughs> Two floors, fuck you! Nah! <laughs> Bad news. Get out. Get out, girls. This isn't moonshine either. It's like from before. Mm. You know, you can mix pills with that shit. I think you did it on purpose. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. You stupid sink. Why just him, you know? Maybe, you know, the, the things. I don't know. <laughs> it's great. 
she was impressed watching me sneak around on my wedding vlogs. And she asked what I thought about Fedra. So I told her the truth. She's like, all right, if you want in, you're in. That's it? No word initiations? <laughs> I said, yes, and now I'm a firefly. I mean, I don't know if it's that simple. Well. But in a way, Fedra kind of holds everything together. You know, as much as I love I you, I'm like, you're on a mission here. It's giving me Mary Poppins vibes. <laughs> Maybe they can spend a day, you know, just with that. <laughs> Definitely a date. Ah, oh, that's it. We're gonna fall in love with this girl. We're gonna fall in love with your relationship. But we already know that she's gonna die. You're so the future, Ellie. You don't know it yet. I turned 17 next month. That's when you get your assignment. You know what Kwan gave me? Sewage detail. Stand in guard while people shovel shit. That's what they think of me. You know, you're the one thing I miss from that fucking place. If that makes a difference. No? <laughs> We're two hundred down, three more to go, if you want to keep going. I mean, I want to imagine Horus with like a million likes. I <laughs> At some point, I think that it's gonna be the games. She talked about it. Photos? You have some pictures okay. with her? Look at that. I can't prepare. 